This here is Backwoods Billy coming from the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore. Remember to click like and subscribe. And if you want to forward us to your friends on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google Plus, greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to show you something that um, we have some hop plants, and um, this is one that I found growing rose. So it could be from a seed from somebody else or us or what have you. Um, this one, you can tell by the leaves right here. This is your typical leaf, slightly uh, going to feel almost furry in the back of it. This is what a hop leaf looks like. Now the important part with this is this is the rhizome. So anybody that orders hops, when you order it, this is what you're going to wind up getting. This is the part that actually grows and has the hops come out of it. Uh, you can do seeds too, which are not really guaranteed a female plant. Um, I will do another video of one I'll show you the very beginning of the um, hops cone starting after the flower came off. That's one of the ones that we have. And then we'll show the progression throughout the year as different ones um, get the cone and how with the ones like this you find when the cones are mature in the fall and they get the little springiness to it, you can rub them between your hands and then smell it and it'll tell you how good it is. Now, <clears throat> this plant, another one that I have growing behind here, I rescued and put it up here and I've got two little, real little three inch plants doing real well. The big one not doing well, it's a 97 degree days. It won't matter because the rhizome will survive if that doesn't. Um, the idea with this is to find out if or not it's a usable hops. Not all wild hops are usable. Usually uh, birds take the seeds <clears throat> or they'll take a piece of the plant and drop it and you get another hops plant coming off. It could be wild or it could be a good one. Um, also, we can talk to, what is it, the Eastern Shore University of Maryland and what's the other one? The Extension's office. Extension's office and they can, you can send them a picture and these people have specialists in the plants or like plant geeks. They'll tell you what it is. I know it's hops. <laughs> A matter with variety is a different story. Um, the one's got like a grapefruit smell, and by the way, if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna have another thing that's gonna show you how to break the different characters of hops down so you know what they are. Uh, when you dissect the beer, you can tell what type of hops are in it. But anyway, this is what it looks like, and then when you grow them, this is what you plant in the early spring, you get the rise ends, and from there, you're not getting something this big. And if you get a plant, you're using the plant about that big. You usually just get the, the rise ends, you plant them. It's a weed, so it will grow very well. It's related to the marijuana plant, and no, you can't get high off smoking it. Um, that's what basically creates the bitterness and your passion fruit, grapefruit, uh, lemon, lime, different citrus flavors are basically from your hops. If it's not something else added to it, you get a lot of different flavors from that, as well as pine, resins, etc. It's a backwoods billy, two thumbs up on getting you a hops plant, but you don't want to just put it in your beer. You want to find out if it's usable or not. But I just want to show you about what it is, um, and I had some of my plant. I should have probably did it down, but I didn't think about it. And um, I had one where I got rid of when it was a little one. And I should remember it's really killing that one. <laughs> Going by the mailbox. But sometimes you get really good <clears throat> hop plants. It could be yours or somebody. There's a lot of hop farms around here. It could be something from them. And when you have a hop farm, you're not going to... I just have a trough like this for these little things, see what they are. But you're going to have a telephone pole type system, and they create... The hops create shade. They generally, once they're established, which these aren't, when you call them back, they'll do very well in the full sun, and you can grow lettuce or something behind them. It's a shade loving crop. <clears throat> they get very tall. So The flamingos there to cheer them up. The flamingos are there to cheer them up and um, get them going. The two little ones are doing real well. Now, that one, even if it doesn't establish this year, it will come back next year because what's important is the rhizome. So it's a backwoods billy. Two thumbs up. Stay tuned to find out about your hops and your barley and your what it means to be malted barley and all this good stuff and how that how long you roast it makes a big difference in whether you're going to have a chocolate or a coffee or you're going to have a you know slightly sweetness to it or smokiness to it backwoods billy two thumbs up on this if you like it pass it along try to get some knowledge about the beers you're drinking so you can dissect it as you drink it when you grate it have an awesome day